Welcome back now. Forget fad diets and endless hours at the gym. Our next guest says you can reach your goal weight and boost your metabolism by eating certain foods. Yeah, Dr. Vincent is here to reveal the seven things you should include in your diet every day to help you body, you help your body burn fat faster. Dr. Vincent, <laughs> great to have you here. You're, uh, you're, you're a doctorate in molecular nutrition. Is that right? We wrote that's that why down. David's lost yes, the ability correct. to yes. speak. Because yes. whenever someone who's you know really intelligent <laughs> comes in, I go. I can't say the word fat. <laughs> so let's talk about the seven <laughs> foods that will speed up your metabolism. So what are they? I think it's very important to mention that everyone wants good body, especially during summer. But not all of us can spend hours in the gym. That's right. So there are little things that we can do every day, incorporate things in our daily lifestyle to help us boost our metabolic rate. Mm -hmm. So the first food, I think everyone knows, protein. Protein is a great addition to increase our metabolic rate because not only it helps to build our body, it also helps to increase the metabolic rate up to 30% more than if Ooh, you just have wow. carbohydrate or fat. Are some proteins better than others? I think every, every micronutrient is important. However, when you have a higher proportion of protein, it does help to elevate that okay. metabolic rate. But Dr. Vincent, if you had to pick one. Yeah, choose your favorite protein, protein mate. Uh, well, protein, <laughs> lamb chop is really great. Lamb oh. chop? I was not expecting a lamb chop. It is a really good one, Dr. It, is, it has a really great proportion I of fat. I saw it was a chicken man. Or chicken, chicken, oh, yeah, really? Chicken, chicken breast? Yeah, there you go. Okay. Let's talk about coffee and Coffee caffeine. and tea. Coffee. Caffeine helps I'm to I'm on this train. I like it. To boost our metabolic rate, it helps our brain to stay alert, helping our body to stay active. But also, it has another secret weapon. When you have coffee or tea after a meal, it does help to make you stop eating because it okay. curbs your appetite, helps you to feel full and satisfied. So not only you help your body to burn more calorie, you're stopping your body from eating more calorie. Yeah. How, okay. many, how many coffees do you have a day? I have two, okay. one, in the after, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. All right. Really push this thing well, through, What food it, should we be avoiding, to, you know, the, the foods that slow down our, our metabolism? So simple carbs and sugar, they're really, really bad because not only it sends us on sugar crash and causes us to eat more, it also helps, it also contributes to empty nutrients. So you get the calorie without any of the nutrients. Yeah, and you feel hungry still after some of those things. Exactly. Too. And Fried processed meat, you said is really bad. Processed meat is really bad because it, it, it causes your thyroid to go into a imbalance. It, the nitrate, the sodium nitrate, causes mm. your body to retain more water. Mm. So things, That's not good. That's not good. So things like chili, ginger, uh, apples, seaweed, legumes and pulses, they help our body to burn more fat. And of course, not all, not all of us can be perfect all day, every day. So sometimes we need a little bit of help. So food supplements also help our body really? to That's enhance our that health. That's interesting that you've added that to the whole, uh, you know, with the proteins and then, you know, the fruits and the legumes and stuff like that. So supplements, you think we should be taking supplements too? What sort of supplements? So things like omega-3 fatty acid, because consumption of fish is very important. However, we also live in a world where they are concerned about mercury, mercury contamination. Mm or things like phenolic antioxidant that when we eat in the raw form, our body is not very good at absorbing it. So yeah. active fatty phenolics can help our mitochondrial activity, which is the power generator of, of our cell, body, that's it? correct. Yeah. And when we are taking care of this power generator, it helps our body to have an active and healthy metabolic rate. Dr. Right. Vincent, love your stuff. You'll have to come back and talk to us. Totally. We're out of time. Thank but you for, for having more information, me. Information, uh, just go to ask. DrVincent.com. There we go. Thanks, mate. Thank, Thank you, you so much.